Hey Cougars, welcome to this week's newscast. I'm Kelly Peterson. And I'm Monique Cortez. In this week's newscast, we will be catching you guys up on upcoming events around campus. Later on in this newscast, we will have an interview with our principal, Dr. Gansler, to get to know him better and his involvement around our campus. But first, here are our lead stories. The past weekend, Winter Guard and Winter Line had been an amazing competition. Both groups took one of first place in the novice division with a score of 72-23 and 68-90 respectively. This is the first time that they have been awarded first place in the past seven years. Congratulations to all involved. Next, our girls varsity basketball team advanced to the CIF NCS 2020 Girls Basketball Championship after a last second free throw by Captain Keone Neal. They faced Montgomery on Tuesday for the title and completed the historic season with a win. Amazing work, Cougars. And for our last lead story, the drama department is putting on a showing of the Hunchback of Notre Dame this week. For more on that, we will send it down to the Tag Theater. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, RJ, um, here with an announcement. Do you like musicals? Do you like plays? Well, I'm proud to announce to you that the drama class is putting on a musical play. When are these things, you might ask? Well, next Thursday, the 5th at 7 p.m., and next Friday, the 6th at 4 p.m. The tickets are $5 pre-sale and $7 at the door. Hope to see you there. Congratulations to Holly Espinosa for placing third in CIF and CS sections in seating sixth in state. This week's Athletes of the Week are Keani Neal and Andrew Pengel. Both varsity basketball athletes have been awarded this title from their coaches. Keani's coach Mario tells us that Keani is a pulse of the team. He says that she is a versatile player and an amazing defender. Andrew's coach Mike tells us that Andrew is a great offense player and averages 16 points per game. Up next, I was able to conduct a sit-down interview with our principal, Dr. Gansler. Dr. Gansler is in his second year as principal at Rancho Cotati High School and is here to share his story and vision for our school. Hello, I am here with our principal, Dr. Gansler, and we're going to be asking him a few questions about his job. So, Dr. Gansler, what is the best part of being our principal? The best part of being the principal is thinking about how you want a school to look and then actually being able to do it. What is the most challenging part of being our principal? I think with any principal, the challenge is to develop a vision and then convince others that that vision is something they want to be part of and then actually get it done. And so that, you know, that's a lengthy process and that's something that requires constant work. What should um, everyone know about your job here at Rancho? The main thing I would want people to know is that I always wish I was able to be in more places than I am. And the job is often something that takes a lot of attention and um, there are so many things going on at school and I know that I can't see a lot of them. When did you know you wanted to become an admin? <laughs> well, I taught for about 12 years and then I also went back to graduate school and so I started thinking about change happening at the school level rather than just within my classroom. And so when I started thinking like that more and more, I realized I wanted to go into administration. What is one goal you have for Rancho? I'd like when people hear that somebody goes to Rancho I want the reaction to be, you're so lucky to go there because the amount of things that we have going on here are so excellent. And I want that um, reaction to be universal. And I think that we're on our way, you know, that we have a lot to be proud of. Um, and But just there are lots of metrics that are ways in which uh, schools are measured, you know, and, and the decision about whether a school is um, doing really well, I would like all those metrics for Rancho to be just excellent. And um, what is one issue you'd like to change at Rancho and why? I think that there is a, if I could change one thing, it would be that there's less tardies and that there is, there does seem to be a 
feeling among s many students that being on class on time isn't as important as I think it is and that the way in which a teacher is sort of interrupted from doing what they're supposed to be doing when people come in late is something that I would like to make sure doesn't happen as often as it does. All right, thank you so much and we'll thank bring you. it back to the studio. What to do after you submitted your FASFA? Check your status at myfinancialaid.santarosa.edu. Take action. Submit required documentation promptly. View and accept your awards at myfinancialaid.santarosa.edu. Be patient. Files are reviewed in the order of the date received. Get paid. Visit portal.santarosa.edu. Select how you would like to receive aid through Bank Mobile. If you're enrolled and eligible, applicable aid will be dispersed. Thank you again, Dr. Gansler. And that is it for this update, and we'll see you next Monday. And remember, have, have a great, great rest of your week! week.